In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to write content that is perfectly optimized for search engines. If you want to create content that gets to the top of Google, then this video is for you. My name is Matt Diggity, and I'm the owner of multiple search engine optimization businesses. I make a full-time living from getting content to the top of Google, and I'm about to give out the farm on how I get that done. I'm sure you're already completely clear on the benefits of getting your content to rank high on search engines. The obvious one is free traffic. Once you're at the top of Google for a given keyword, the traffic starts to rain like it's no one's business. But the best thing about search engine traffic is the quality of that traffic. Because your visitors are actively searching for what you're offering, they're much more likely to convert. And because of this, organic search traffic crushes paid traffic any day of the week. So it's clear why we'd want our content to rank number one. But have you ever really got a clear answer on how to do it? If you search for lists of Google ranking factors, you'll often see quote unquote quality content to be on these lists, like this article from Search Engine Journal. But what the hell does quality even mean? That word is subjective as hell. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what goes into creating content that ranks consistently in Google. And let me tell you, it's not what you think. Search engines are robots, and what they think is quality can be reverse engineers and used for your benefit. In this video, you'll learn how to write optimized content that search engines love, which will in turn drive you some crazy traffic. But at the same time, you'll be creating content that will be readable and enjoyable for your visitors, which will ultimately get them to convert so you can make money. And make sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to be dropping some SEO tricks in here that'll give your content the extra push that it needs. But before we do that, can I quickly ask you to push the like button? Unlike website content, YouTube content relies on folks like you and your generous smashings of the like button in order to generate traffic. Otherwise, videos like this one will just sit in a graveyard of digital ones and zeros and my hours creating this video will go to waste. I appreciate the help. The first step in getting your content to the top of Google is to choose the right topic and keyword to target in your content from the beginning. What's the point in writing a 300 word article on crypto investing if there's no way that your new website will ever rank for it? It's a huge waste of time and resources. What you want to do instead is pick topic ideas that are in your lane. They're topics that you can indeed rank for and they're also searched for a lot and get nice, tasty, organic traffic. Let me show you how to do that first with a tool like Ahrefs, which has a free seven day trial, which is more than long enough for you to do what I'm about to show you. Since we're on the topic of crypto, let's say I wanted to write an article in the metaverse. What you do is open Ahrefs Content Explorer. We want the tool to give us content ideas that are easy to rank for on our topic. Up here at the top, you want to type in metaverse. Then next to it, select in title. That's going to only return content ideas that have the words metaverse in the title. Then for the filters, select page traffic over 500 and DR up to 25. DR or domain rating sets a limit to the power of the websites needed to rank for the articles that it's going to spit out. 25 is pretty damn easy. Now down here, I see an interesting article on how to become a digital real estate investor in the metaverse. The domain rating is only 13, which means it's a baby site. We can see that it's generating 1,500 visitors per month, and the value of that traffic is $7,000 per month. Perfect. Clicking on details, we can see all the keywords this page ranks for. These are the same keywords that you're going to target as well. I'll use this keyword, digital real estate, for the rest of this video as it are example. Now that was super easy. And that's just one of the keyword research techniques that I teach in my SEO course, The Affiliate Lab. Next, we get into the preparation phase. Just like you wouldn't go on a hike in the woods without having a map of where you're going, you want to create a map of your content plan. Benjamin Franklin wrote, by failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. This certainly applies when you're in the process of writing the best content on the internet. The first thing you want to do in the preparation phase is to determine the search intent for the keyword you're targeting. I'll put it like this. If you don't get the search intent correct, you will not rank. There's basically basically four different types of searches. Informational search queries represent when people are just looking for information, such as how-to guides on how to do this or that. Our example keyword, digital real estate, is informational. Then we have navigational type queries, like Twitter login or Matt Diggity contact. Then transactional, like buy crypto online or car insurance quotes. And lastly, comparative, such as what is the best crypto exchange or Coinbase review. Let's take a look at the search result for our informational keyword, digital real estate. We have our friend up here at the top with the article on how to become the digital real estate investor in the metaverse. If we open it up, we can see it's a basic blog article format. It's not a series of images or videos, it's text. And the important part is that down here towards the middle, we get into a how-to section with three steps. Google thinks that the best answer to the query, digital real estate, is a how-to guide on how to invest in it with actual steps. We should do the same. Going back out here to the search result, we can see just by looking at the title that the number two business.com article does the same thing. It's a how-to guide. But down here in third, we have the New York Times going off topic with a report on digital real estate investment. It's no surprise they're not ranking higher. They're not giving Google what the searchers want to see. 
And now that we know that we need to write a how-to article, what's next? It's time to do some keyword research to make sure we write an article that's better than the existing articles on page one. And to do that, we start to take the best parts from the people that are already ranking in the top positions. Let's take a look at the subtopics of the City Signal article in first place. They have a heading, what is the metaverse? Great. Another one on why invest on virtual land? Great. They talk about ROI and then get into how to buy land in the metaverse, starting with getting a digital wallet and so forth. Write all these subtopics down. You're going to cover them all too. But here's how you do it better. Continue this process for the number two business.com article. They have different subtopics, such as what is digital real estate. Add all these unique headings to your list of subtopics. Continue doing this for three to five similar articles and you'll end up with a superset of all the subtopics required to answer the query. But let's not stop there. The related searches section at the bottom of the search result will give you even more subtopics to add to the list, like how beginners can get started with digital real estate and digital real estate in the blockchain. And the people also ask section is great for getting even more questions that can be answered in your content, such as can you make money from digital real estate? So now you have a basic outline and it's better than anything that exists because it takes the best of all of them. But you need a title here, don't you? Here's the main keywords that we found earlier. Let's take note of them as we craft your title. Let's describe the benefit of reading the article straight away with how to invest in digital real estate. But the words buy and land and metaverse are important to us, so let's toss them in here. The last step in the planning phase is to determine the target word count for your article. It used to be the case that you could just write more content than your competition and you would just brute force smash your way to the top of Google. But that's just not how it is anymore. Some searches can be answered with just a few words and Google knows that. They don't want their users to have to read a 10,000 word article just to find out how damn old Harry Potter is now. Always remember, Google is expecting to see patterns for the results it puts on page one. So to determine how many words you want to make your article, what you need to do is look at who is already ranking for your keyword and take an average of the top three. Make sure to only include the articles that match your search intent. This Ahrefs plugin shows that the first article has about 1,600 words, and this number should factor into your average. Still not convinced that hitting the target average word count is important? I left a link to a video in the description where I actually remove 2,000 words from an article and get it to number one on Google. All right, enough with the planning it's time to get writing. Naturally, the first paragraph is your introduction paragraph, which is important to get right for a variety of reasons. First, your intro needs to hook your reader. You know that you and everyone else has internet ADD these days. To get people to read, your intro needs to really hook the reader. At the same time, introduction content should convey that you know what you're talking about and demonstrate your expertise on the topic. And here's a big one, avoid fluff. If someone searches for how to invest in digital real estate, don't start boring them with a historical account of how the internet evolved. They want to know about investing in digital digital land, so get straight to the point. Also, in the description below, I've left a link to a video that gives you a full playbook on how to write introduction paragraphs, so make sure to watch it after you finish this video. Now that your introduction paragraph is done, it's time to start working on the body content. If you want to write SEO-optimized content, I highly suggest you employ a content optimization tool like Surfer. Surfer is an incredible tool that will analyze the words, entities, and phrases that exist on the top-ranking articles for your keyword, so you can give Google what it already likes to see. Their super handy content editor plugin works directly with with Google Docs. As you write your article, you can see that the critical word frequencies that Google expects to see start to match what's expected on page one. Thus, your content score increases as you approach a perfectly optimized article. Keep plugging away at writing your content section by section until you end up with a decent content score and you've hit the word count of the article. Now it's time to polish things up. In your article, you should link out to authoritative sites and articles that you reference for facts. This shows Google that you're in it for the reader and you're not just trying to keep everyone stuck on your site. I've inserted a few authoritative reference links here where I mentioned where to find more information on some data points that I added in my article, as well as a couple links to news articles down here. Next, you want to spice things up and make Google's NLP or natural language processing algorithms happy. According to IBM, and I'm paraphrasing here, NLP refers to the branch of computer science and AI that gives computers the ability to understand text in the same way humans can. So basically, it's Google's way of translating your content into something that it can understand. The thing is, for a computer, reading human content is a really f***ing difficult problem. So what you want to do is format your text in such a way you pitch Google a softball that they can hit an NLP home run with. You want to make it easy for Google. Here's how you do it. Echo back the main search query, then the word is, and then give your answer. If there are any units associated with the answer, then use them here too. This structure makes it also much easier to grab the featured snippet for a query. You can see 
see that I've done this in my article right here where I define what is digital real estate. To be frank, Google doesn't actually know what digital real estate is, but they definitely know that I tried to answer the question. There's no doubt about that, which is more than can be said about the other articles on page one. At this point, we want to make sure your article is super readable for your visitors. We want their experience with your content to be as awesome as possible. Spell and grammar check the hell out of your article. Google Docs has this built in natively. If you want a premium tool for grammar and spelling checks, Grammarly is the industry standard. Next, you want your content to be pretty much at an eighth grade reading level. You can use this free Flesh Kincaid readability tool to plug in your content and see what kind of readability score it gets. The key is using simple words and short sentences. As you can see, I have some work to do. Next, you want to avoid this monstrosity. What is it? It's a huge wall of text and it sucks. No one is going to read this. Keep your paragraphs one to two sentences each and they'll be bite-sized and easy to read. They'll be much easier on the eyes and less intimidating to your visitors. You can also use formatting like lists and tables to break up the content and make it look more interesting. And of course, you're going to want to decorate your content with with images and videos. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a bit. Just make sure that you're pre-sizing your images to make sure they load fast on your website. Check out my video on website speed and core web vitals after you watch this video. You're almost ready to get this piece of content up on your site, but don't forget to do this first. Please, please get someone other than yourself to proofread your article. As you know, you can proofread your own content 100 times and not find an issue. But as soon as someone new reads it, they'll find 200 problems. Ask a friend to give you a hand. Remember, we're creating content that's intended for page one of Google. It at least deserves a solid proofread. Now, with a little bit of magic, let's get this article up on your website. Bam, here's what the article looks like when it's loaded. The images, videos, lists, and short paragraphs really make a difference, but the content journey doesn't stop here. First things first, you want to put schema on your article. Schema what? Schema is code that you put on your web page that makes it super easy for Google to figure out exactly what your content is about. Remember, we always want to make things easy for Google. That's how we roll. To get started with Schema, use Merkle's Schema Markup Generator. Open it up, and then just start filling the stuff out. The title of your article, the author, all of it. You'll see your schema code getting generated here on the right. When you're done, copy it to your clipboard. Then you simply paste it into the HTML editor of your WordPress page. You also want to interlink to your article. Find relevant articles on your site and interlink to your new article using descriptive anchor text. This is useful for telling Google, hey, if this one article on crypto links to this new article, then it must be about crypto too. Last but not least, you want to add a meta title and meta description. These define what your listing will look like in the Google search results. For the title, just copy the same title that you wrote earlier. The description should be descriptive, of course, and include keywords so they get bolded in the search results. So now this perfectly optimized article is ready to be published. Congratulations, you just went through the full journey. In a future video, we'll take a look at how this article did, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.